for. Wait, did you? Oh wait, do you have a copy of Mountain Lion? I, I messed around with it uh, a a while back uh, on uh, somebody else's system. I was like, I see where they're going, but it's one of those. It's very much got a Vista quality to it. It's like. Okay, Apple needs another version to finish cooking these features. They didn't quite implement them quite right. So they're they're more a hindrance at this point than an aid. I can see them like in oh, wait, what, you, what 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 are you talking about? You're talking about mountain lion or lion? I'm talking about lion, ten point seven. Oh no, we're now the mountain lion. Ten point eight. Yeah, I know that's what I'm s oh, 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 okay. Yeah, a, a ten point eight may fix those things. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, I, I have I had used Lion, so it was I, I my main. It's on my test hard drive. You know, it's not, I don't. Well, don't they haven't that. released Mountain Lion yet, have they? I have to have a preview. You have a preview, but it's not available to the public, is it? No. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, on my on Twitter, I was like saying. Um, it was, uh, I found it funny that Mountain Lion now comes with Gatekeeper, which I can consider a UAC equivalent. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I had, writ I had written here in, in Twitter, I said, remember, it's not market share equal to malware and viruses, but overlooking in design. MS Experience adding social fluff, too. And what I was trying to get at, you know, what, I'm, what I was trying to get at is, is Apple, even like within iOS, is, it's beginning to get careless. And the more and the more things that you have, like these Twitter integrations and um, yep. social things, it reminds me of active desktops and all this other crap that Microsoft had, uh, had uh, experience with. And, and, and see, I don't know how much of this. I don't know how much of this is Apple just thinks they're invincible now, and how much of this is how much of this is. They, Why? It, there are so many apps already that can that. that why write it as part of the system, I guess, is what I'm... It doesn't need me. I'm just scratching my head at some of the things that I'm seeing that are being written native and go, huh? Really? I mean, this is... It's an absurdity to me that... Well, I mean, what... It's just... I have a lot... I just... If I, operating systems are becoming like these uh, boutique... This little boutique shop... Uh, cache type stuff, you know, that, that this is... This is extremely trivial. Okay, where, where uh, anyway, do we... I said, I, then I said, compute started with multi-CPU core, you know, slash core, <laughs> then it went to a single CPU for years, and then only to go back to multi. And this is in reference to uh, Mountain Lion. Software today is looking to repeat history. Oh, yeah, and, big time. You know, and then I put in, like, iPad-inspired, because that's what Apple is saying. Mount Lion is iPad-inspired. And then, and then I went on and I said, many of us complained of the Wintel era of computing stagnation. I said, welcome to the next era, where the limitations are just as arbitrary. And, and see, th this is what I'm deathly afraid of, that we're just going to wind up on these... Um, you know, it's like, I, I'm going to feel like I'm on a 15-year-old computer on the brand new one. And, I, I, uh, and, then, I, and, then, and then the other one, it says, uh, Wintel era equals software run amok on wrong CPU architecture versus the new era shaping up equal to being overly limiting software on the right CPU architecture. <laughs> See? So, we, yeah, so we can't win. <laughs> We're screwed! <laughs> uh, I was getting upset. I was getting upset. But, uh, I, mean, I don't want to talk about patents. That shit bores me now at this point. This is. I know I see that on the show notes. Um, but they've patented the design. I mean, I have a computer here that design-wise almost looks exactly like it. Is it in violation of this new patent, even though it's five years older than the MacBook Air? <laughs> uh, <Mary. laughs> I'm just saying. All right. We're, I think it's cool because this gets the architecture and stuff and direction that we, you and I, have really hit on a lot. 
But a lot of people, and let me bring up an article. I'm, I'm going to post it in the show notes so you can, so you can I should okay. have done that earlier. I apologize. But it's saying that, because there are some companies that are saying, okay, Microsoft is trying to, uh, it's trying to, uh, or both of them. Oh, I'm trying to remember. It's not coming up right now for some damn reason. Uh, but Microsoft and Apple are, are trying to make their desktop OSs into the mobile phone OSs. That, that kind of, that's the kind of argument being presented right now. Yeah. And so there's a bunch of people that are saying, well, hey, you know, this is not necessarily, basically, the, the Apple pundits are saying, oh, this is bull crap. You know, this is not, this is not uh, true and Windows is doing it all wrong. And, Although, of course, Apple is right to do it. It's not that the idea is wrong, it's that Microsoft's executing it yeah. wrong. <laughs> so, so um, basically, the title's like, no, no, no. And, all right. This, all right, he goes, although this is like the, 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 the house size, this is the quote from another, I guess, another pun. It says, Although they are doing it in different ways, Apple and Microsoft are aiming for a similar goal with their next desktop operating system to make the computer more like the phone. Now, this is uh, a pundit's response, another pundit's response. This just, it, this just isn't what's happened. Microsoft is trying to shoehorn one operating system into the desktop and mobile spaces, but that will ultimately fail. Oh, I love how they added that. There are different platforms and should be treated differently. See, that's what I want to hit on, right? That's, that's what I'm going to hit on. But they are different platforms that should be treated differently because that's an oxymoron to actually what's happening. And what Apple is doing with Mountain Lion is taking some of the more common features of iOS and bringing them to the desktop. That is true, but that is part, part, parcel of, in other words, they're not seeing their own logic. Um, that is part and parcel of making the desktop very much like iOS. Uh, however, Apple is not just plucking down features they don't make that don't make sense. They're doing they're doing thinking about how users will interact with the apps and features on their mobile OS and desktop OS. See, that's the artsy fartsy bullshit lines that I hate that from usual content. The common tie is iCloud, which syncs the data. Ooh, you, you used the, the enemy word of Apple. It's not supposed to be sync. It's supposed to be uh, push the data. You know, it's, 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 it's uh, pushing and requesting data. Can't use the word sync, so that's a, he's already in violation of Apple law. And then uh, he said that then there's a big difference between what Microsoft and Apple are doing. I would say yes, there is a big difference, but well, they have two different paths. They are very much the same thing. And I and I think the wrong word that the original pundit made is that he says to make the computer more like the phone. I think that said, I know what he's mean, or the, or he or she. I know what they're meaning on this. And they shouldn't have used it in that context. I'm trying to make the desktop uh, software um, like a continuous, like a continua, like a continuation. In other words, the software expanse is the same no, no matter what your computer is. Our well, I, 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 you and I both agree on that. And honestly, I think that's something the industry has just forgotten. The whole idea. It, it, you know, and it's really funny because we're basically creating Star Trek technology with these pads and so on and everything else. But the whole idea there was you had your giant sun computer core bigger than a human being in the ship's belly. And all these individual devices just were augmentations of it that they all seamlessly kind of interconnected and functioned as one big giant thingy. Uh, and the reality is, we are going 100% the other way. We're trying to compartmentalize, separate, John, and I'm like, no, I, my, the reality is, like, right now, here, doing this show, we got one, two, three, four computers running. Right. Uh, and, and the biggest limitation we keep running into in trying to do the show is we're trying to make these four computers function as one cohesive unit and just augment each other, and they don't want to do it. <laughs> they, they want to be four separate devices that be dumb to each other and client slave. Like, no, just be one hive mind. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, yeah, and see, here's the thing, and this is what I'm, that's what I'm trying to get at with uh, where, where this article is all wrong. I'm sorry. 
an Apple, an Apple purist or fanboy or Apple biased pundit can say all they want with artsy fartsy fluff bullshit sentences. But th- here's the end of the line. The iPhone, forget the phone, because damn, my iPhone already has a hard time making phone calls. So we'll just put that aside. But it's a computer, right? And, and so is a tablet. But it has uh, a very limited uh, software footprint. In other words, it's very restricting. We, we, we've gone over complaints. I don't need to go over those, rehash those complaints. But, you know, but, but for people that are new, it's, you know, there's no concurrency. It's like single task oriented. You can't have the power that you want on a desktop. And so here's the thing. I agree with Microsoft's ideology. They're not shoehorning anything. They literally are saying that we we think it's uh, the wrong move to actually say software should be limited on this device, like iOS is saying. iOS is saying, yes, here's your home button. You really can't do much. Scroll through these little damned icons and be damned if you want to run two things simultaneously, and we hope that your memory footprint is as large so it can close out the other thing, even though now you've just lost data because it automatically was handled by iOS, you know, it's, it becomes like a little worthless fun thing. Oh, and, and I'm and, sorry, I honestly see going down the road uh, at some point iOS and OS X merging into one OS. Well, I, well we agree with that. We, but I, see, here's I, the thing. I, I, I just hope all... for, for people who are stuck on the Apple platform, it doesn't happen like it's happening on the Windows platform because if they start dumbing OS X down to sign it's like y- y'all are welcome to come join us in the Linux camp it's like we will welcome you come here <laughs> we'll teach you how computers yeah. are supposed to work <laughs> yeah. My, yeah Microsoft's opinion is we want a full operating system on the tablet on the desktop area because they're all computers and by golly hardware is getting to the point where we don't have to worry anymore. You should be able to have... No, no, no Marcel, uh, forget uh, getting. Come end of 2014, that series of ARM chips that are going to be released in 2014 are in the 3 gigahertz range, quad core range, aside from having slightly smaller uh, front side limitations. They're desktop league. I'm sorry. As long as you put 2 gigs plus of RAM in that system, you have a desktop class system. Uh-huh. And see, I agree with Microsoft's um, ideology. I, however, I don't like the metro convolu- convolution type thing that we've been discussing before. If they allow us to have a professional side, now metro, I can see a great use for a tablet and a phone that has very limited screen real estate. However, it should be a full operating system, the Windows 8, that like we had, you, there's nothing stopping Windows from just... Ex- immediately executing a UI layer based upon... No, hey, honestly, what you're hitting on there is, in my opinion, with what we the, with the diversity of form factors we have right now, I, I don't understand why the industry doesn't get this. That's exactly what you need. You need a UI layer where there's just an API there for the application to call in where it goes, on the fly, I'm going to dynamically adapt the UI because sometimes a Metro-like UI makes sense. Sometimes a traditional desktop right. UI makes sense. It's basically, and, and there is no reason you couldn't put hooks in where you say, okay, this is my menu API, this is my application, and it just dynamically pulls it around and pushes it around. The, you could have a, like you're saying, a UI uh, emulation API level where the application makes a call to it, and depending on the form factor function mode the user happens to be in at the time, it seamlessly adapts. That is the UI we need with these devices, not, this is the one UI to rule them all. Bullshit. This UI makes sense over here. This UI makes sense That's over right. there. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I, and see, while iOS's UI is not so bad, now let me. I'm just saying in this context. Not, I, this I, iOS is, is not my. Everybody knows I don't like iOS. I'm just saying that it makes more sense on the iPhone than it does on the iPad. On the iPad, they should have done something else, in my opinion. Um, you could you have so much more screen real estate, and I and I look at it, and all the icons are so spaced apart. And I'm like, wow. Uh, it, 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 the form factor there, I think, is not as, as befitting for iOS. Now, well, it, the, the, that, that's a real problem, actually, in web design, too, to be perfectly honest. And I, I am getting in a constant fight with people. I'm saying, no, 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 no. You need to be making two versions of your mobile site. 
You, you need a mobile site that is as functional as your desktop version of your site because you have plenty of screen real estate on a slate, but you cannot do the same things you do on a desktop. You need a UI that's touch friendly. You can't be having hover over events. You have to have click initiated right. events. It's, it, 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 it would be the slightest change in the CSS and how the menu is generated and it more or less be the same site. But it, right. it yeah, ah, it, 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 so now, now Windows Mobile actually has a very ta a very WebOS like task switching, but not task killing and task generating. It, 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 when I played with the Windows Mobile there, so navigation like on a phone and what we were getting at being touch that's touch friendly to me, not a, a single button and then clicking on a you know I, I've already hashed that out. Uh, but you were discussing how the UI implements, and I think that, that you're, you're spot on, on on the form factor. And that's the way I think, I agree with you. Form factor should just be, okay, I have my one OS that's a full-blown OS, a very powerful OS, and it gets to run on X, Y, and Z form factors. These idiots over here are, are, on the Apple realm think they're being uh, uh, intelligent uh, and, and saying, oh, well, they're, they're, they're treated separately. They're two separate things. Bullshit. Then, and then, and then, and then the uh, I love the the new Apple line. It's this virtuous circle where OS X gave life to iOS, and then iOS recontributes back to OS X. Are they freaking kidding me? I mean, this is I, it's I like the I circle of virtual. <laughs> it's just <laughs> that's why I'm kidding, you know. <laughs> anyway, the, the the thing of it is, is that, it, that we're talking about how these these operating systems progress. My, OS X is sticking to Intel, uh, predominantly for its desktops, but Microsoft says we have all the walls from ARM as well. And Microsoft, from here on out, its legacy won't be able to go, but this is their market. When Windows 8 does start, regardless of our opinions of Metro, they're in a position develop, uh, development-wise to actually run on any damn platform, whether it's x86 or our, our architecture and form factor. Now let's talk about Apple. Apple's not going to keep this separate. They're doing these things on purpose to, to, to because what are you going to say? You have a huge software library on iOS that cannot run on the Mac right now, but people are going to want that. And it's, uh, and uh, uh, actually, I thought they fixed that. Can't you run your iOS stuff on the Mac now? No. Oh, you, you mean the, the development, but that's emulated. Oh, I thought that. Wait, didn't they put that into Lion, or was that planned for Mountain Lion? I, I thought they were implementing that. I, I, I might be getting my stuff mixed up. I thought oh. they, I thought they were implementing so you could run your. Well, I'm um, back to so ten. I, 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 I know, but I thought they, I thought they put an emulation in there where you could like emulate iOS and run your iOS apps on your Mac. No. Nope. Oh, okay. They haven't done that yet. Never mind. <laughs> so it's x86. Um. It's, it, you know, it's you got x86 OS 10. Not to say that uh, OS 10 can't be recompiled for ARM. That's of course it could. But the thing of it is, is now you now you're kind of back into your, your Ros Rosetta type stuff. Where okay, now we're we're bringing these apps to emulate over on, a, on another yeah, because you have a gigantic software library that is on this one end. And and um, the more they're wanting to combine and bring features over and all this other crap, the more people are going to say, gee. Uh, just, just let me bring my damned app over. Either, either the Mac allows third-party developers to then start doing communications, which then that's how they bridge it. In other words, the the, the devices. I, I, you, you know, I would see, I would see enough. if MS was going that route, which they're not. I would see MS doing that for Apple because Apple is all about. Oh no, it has to go through us. We have to have control to make sure it's done right. Right. You third party well, people don't understand how to do stuff. Right. Well, then, of course, the Apple plants are going to fire back at me and say, Well, Mr. Boone, this is what iCloud is. Really? iCloud is a very limited set of push and, and, and downloading, syncing to go against the Apple law uh, of things. But yeah, just wait till you want to do everything in all third party effects. Then watch what happens to the Apple servers. And then all the charges go into effect. That, that's the wrong way to address it. No. Um, I think that uh, Microsoft has got their act together. It's just going to be a, a it's going to be a much harder battle for Microsoft than it is for Apple. Because Apple I, 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 I disagree. I do not think Microsoft has their act together. I think they have the right idea, but they do not have their act together. 
what they are missing is at least, in my opinion, a minimum. But, but you misunderstand what I'm saying. When I that, that, the ideology is what I'm talking about. No, well, uh, uh, okay, they have the right ideology, yeah. but for them to have their act together, they have got to fix these UI limitations, and they could do them very easily. I, I can think of like five things yeah. they could implement that would very easily address these UI limitations, and they wouldn't even require new code bases because it's it's basically taking this code base from here and this code base from there and that have been at Windows yeah. for years. We you know, on that same thing on the last show when we were talking about Windows 8 and what we didn't like about it. I'm talking about how these OSs evolve um, in terms of, of how they're going to address the platform and different CPU architectures and how they inform factors. And, I, and, and, and I'm wanting to expose the idiocy of what I feel these Apple pundits are, are trying to say how Microsoft is wrong when they're right. Well, when, when, that, when, when that day comes in the days and the days are coming because obviously down the line is, is, a, is another attempt at bringing in, trying to bring in more features. I was, I was not going to suffice for, for, for syncing of everything to bridge that gap between taking it to desktop. And a lot of people, and, and Apple's original mantra was post PC, which is really post Mac, right? So eventually it's either one or the other. And, I, and, and here's the danger zone. You don't want iOS to actually become what you perceive as a desktop. Because then that's a shitload of work for Apple to do because then you have to take a very uh, limiting system and then bring it back up to having multiple concurrencies and all the, and all the complexity. Uh, I, 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 I actually, um, I, I hate to be telling Apple how to fix problems of all companies, but honestly, I can think of a way Apple could do that very easily. What they could do is when they get to the point that their latest iPhone they're going to support is powerful enough to run a, a mini-me version of OS X. Uh, what they could say, like with iPhone 7. iPhone 7, now with mini-me OS X, instead of iOS, it runs OS X, and, which ca and then that's the version of OS X that also is able to emulate iOS stuff. They, they have yeah, a problem. No, yeah, there's no reason why. See, I'd rather have it go the direction, just like that. I'd rather have OS X and just be done with iOS. However, yeah, yeah. being done with iOS then destroys the entire software fleet that they have out no, there. No, so no, not if they put in the emulation layer and, and not if, because what they've done with OS X with Lion going forward is they have the, they have the app store, so all they'd have to do is merge the OS X store and the iOS store and just merge them. Yeah, but, but Rusty, the thing of it is, you, even emulation, even... Uh, on all four factors won't behave the same. It won't always have the smoothest experience. And oh, but you're and saying on all form factors. I mean, this is Apple. They control the hardware, so they know what the form but, factors yeah, are. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. There are still limitations. Um, with hardware, battery life, and, and, and oh no, no, no. I agree with that. They could not come out this year or next year and and do that. They could do that three, five years from now, but basically what they do, they release a version of the iPhone that could run that, and then the next version of the iPhone and iPad system is they're going, okay, we're now cutting the line off with last year's model. Anything before that isn't eligible for upgrades. Uh, we're going to maintain the store for 18 months, but you got to go buy a new phone. And, and this is something Apple's done all the time. Basically, they would release uh, one or two versions of their hardware and then just force that upgrade on everyone. And you have to admit, that's the yeah. Apple way. They would have no problem doing that. Yeah, here's what I'm getting at. Here's what I'm getting at with that and saying, well, because Apple's not in a position, I'm arguing the emulation way, predominantly, because that's just another damn layer versus getting all the efficiency out of it just being native. And that and that's the conundrum that I'm talking about that Microsoft I, I, ideologically has squared away and by saying they're together that the development the development when Windows 8 comes out is ready to roll. That once you write that from that point on, you're pretty much gonna be ready for all the form factors and it should be the powerful OS on each form factor. From the Apple position it's like we have iOS and OS ten. Now we gotta put OS ten on here, but oh my gosh, we have all the software over here. How do we bring that software over here? And then if they keep going in parallel and saying, well, we're going to build up the software library over here and this software library, and then, and, and then short of emulation, and then these excuses of iCloud and then other uh, uh, Let me ask you a question on that bit. If you put in a UI emulation layer, like we're thinking everybody needs to do, 
uh, not not just Apple if they're going to merge this. But let me ask a question: How much? Uh, no, but, 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 but let me. You're you're a software developer. You would know this better than me. Let me ask you a question: If part of doing that, Apple released a uh, application or a cross compiler that would basically be everybody who made an iOS app. Here's this thing; it'll turn it into an OS 10 app. Could they? Oh yeah, you can recompile. No, uh, because yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and, and if, they just that, that, if they basically just put that, if they basically just put that on the foot of everybody who made iOS apps and says, if you want your app to carry over, here's the tool we've given it to you, and, and we will make sure everything transfers over. You just do the Let compile me say for this us. To that effect, though. Let me say this to that effect. That yes, that is a technical door. Path, whatever you want to call it, for for, for the uh, Apple developers to check. However, do you know how few Apple developers even write 64-bit software? How few Apple developers even write for Grand Central Dispatch, which is a wonderful technology to run concurrency and software? Uh, it, it, and you know, the Apple fanboy likes to discuss uh, Android's fragmentation, which I think is the strength of Android. But if they want to like, really want to talk about fragmentation, look at those those new software studies where they're talking about iOS apps crashing much more than Android. The fragmentation that I don't experience. You're supposed to be in the Apple camp. You're not supposed to acknowledge that fact. I am Mac camp. That is, ex that is, I am diehard OS 10 Mac. You want anything Apple, like Apple TV, which is an oxymoron, um, or, or iOS, I don't, I don't go beyond the borders of OS 10 and, and the Mac. That's it. It doesn't, that, that, I don't, that, iOS to me is I've owned three iPhones and I now I can't stand them. I can't stand. Them. So so the the uh, the deal comes to. Uh, gee, now I lost my train of thought when you when you were uh, made me go. You were talking so, about the apps crashing on iOS. Yeah, yeah. So well, look at the frag. That's fragmentation, except versus developer fragmentation, which is a developer who says I'm, I'm going to write for and these Android versions, whatever, which now is even easier. iOS has consumer fragmentation because you know how many Apple developers actually keep up with all the changes in iOS? They don't. And then it costs Do, do you know That's how many possible. software people in any industry keep up with all the changes? The rate at which this stuff changes, it's very hard to. It is very hard. Windows experienced that from version to version. But see, the thing of it is, is once you get so... Once your platform gets so easy and people just want to have turnkey solutions, that's just it. Most of the apps in iOS are turnkey. They, the, the developers are not vested in them. They want to. They want, They're there to make a quick money, you know, and and, and, and to turn it out. And that's it. Oh, oh, I have to change my app now to to do. Oh, it's like not even worth it, and this and that. Oh, this well, and the real good. thing is when you wind up with those Uber turnkey things, you wind up with a rapid increase of fly-by-night. You know, it's like they come in, oh, to get rich! And then 30 days later, they didn't get rich. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> you know how the iPhone apps are now written by these damned uh, these cross-platform compilers that lure these people in and say, make an iOS app, and you don't even have to know how to do it. You don't even have, you don't even have to know how to write code. I mean, this is uh, 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 okay, but if you don't even have to know how to write code or do any of that, the reality is it's going to be a cookie cutter, cheap, crappy app, and there's going to be ten thousand more of them. And the reality is, why should somebody buy yours over the other nine hundred ninety-nine thousand? So that, that's my thing. This, these things are treating it separately. It's not. It's not separate. For they, they, they very much want to have a uniform uh, continuum. This consistency of software. This is what they try to use this virtuous circle of life bullshit. Um, they, they, it's very odd. I, I wish you'd stop saying that. I keep having the Lion King song going through my head every time you say that. Uh, they want, they, they definitely do want a consistent um, software feel on every PC, whether it's a phone or a tablet or whatever. So, um, that, that is a conundrum that Apple is in because they're the ones that really started I don't want to say Pioneer but they're the ones that have been doing it the longest Microsoft is now getting into really mobile with, with the whole Windows Phone 7 it hasn't really been out all that much and so they, they actually now have very little to lose in attacking mobile and desktops this way versus Apple 
See, it's kind of like the roles are reversed. Microsoft had, had tremendous amount of things to lose if it changed its desktop as drastic. I, I, I honestly still think Microsoft has a lot to lose by making this move they're doing. Uh, well, but they're getting stuck on the, on the UI, and my, my take of it is that I believe that they're going to address it. But we ha it hasn't even been out, and the complaints haven't even started. Mark my words, you're going to be... Oh, no, like, the complaints have started. Every single person I know that downloaded that... Uh, okay, those, those aren't dollars. When, the, when, when companies are like, yeah, that's not happening, and this is not... Then, then they respond. I mean, look how... Microsoft did respond a lot to this. They actually went in uh, to one of their service packs and hard-coded root administrative access for many things. I mean, it was it was insane, you know, what they wanted to, to, to get to get by on. So, no, Microsoft was fun. I mean, I, I watched what they did with Vista in trying to get things because it was a nightmare. We'll see. I think the one thing this article has right is there's a big difference between Microsoft and how Apple are doing things. There is. But that, but, 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 but that's not what, that, that's not really the art, that's not really what the article is. Oh, I, I, I know. Like I said, uh, that, that's about the only thing they got right. Yes. Well, ultimately. Well, I mean, this is, I mean, this is a typical, you know, Apple good, Microsoft bad. Can't you see that? What's the matter with you? You know? Now, granted, I know there's a lot of payback out there. Because it was for many years, Microsoft good, Apple, Apple what? And Apple who? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I get it. And, but, but. You know, honestly, and don't take this the wrong way, but I, I, honestly, I think the Apple proponent people who kind of smirk at Linux and go, you need to understand, Linux is where Apple was 10 years ago. And I'm like, that's not such a bad place because that was when things were being innovated, things were going on, and they actually were yeah, making a better exactly. product. But yeah. it's like, basically, Apple has largely stopped doing that. Uh, and personally... Yeah, that's about integrating Twitter with, with, with an operating system. What? I mean... <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, you know all those Twitter billion Twitter apps? Well, we just made one to replace them all. <laughs> and Grand Central Dispatch was in it. Uh, and there were other things, especially when Leopard came out. I was very impressed with what OS Ten was going. Tiger had some great uh, innovation. I was just, yeah, but now it's just yeah. Let's let's give it I, Facebook. I, 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 I kind of so, think, I, in terms of the OS Ten desktop platform, even though I'm not a fan of it, I do not like that flavor, particularly in UI. It says if if they would open up so I could change the UI, I could maybe learn to live with it. But because they won't, dude, no. Tiger, Tiger was probably the only. Well, I think there's still... I, I haven't checked. I, I, to be honest, I haven't checked. But Tiger? You need to see some of my older videos. I made Tiger look like Windows XP. That's how... how no, 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 no that's, that's, what, that's what I was going to say. Tiger, in my opinion, is probably where OS X... Peak. It was a good balance between some. Now they added more functionality as they went forward, but they also took out some ability to do things. Well, and, and, and I, that did. I mean, you could. I, I have to. Like, that's what I'm saying. I have to look it up. I'm pretty sure there. Now I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there is third-party apps that let you customize the shit out of the and all such stuff. Uh, I have to. I just haven't looked it up. Well, and see, that's the thing. They just, they, if we're honest, Apple doesn't really want you doing that, and they kind of do go... They, well, they, if they don't want you doing that, I would say Apple is very clear on something where they, you really are prohibited from doing it, but, but if they just don't provide it, doesn't mean they don't want you doing it. Uh, but because if Apple has really set the standard in saying, when they don't want something to happen, it's not going to happen. You know, they will do everything in their power to stop it. Uh, but... but um, versus saying, oh, well, we didn't want to spend the time in letting you customize your UI. I mean, the, the, but if there's nothing in place to really stop it, which I could take you through all the packages and say, oh, you want to change that icon? Oh, well, this is how you do it. I, I, I'm sure if I just sat here and took the time, but it's just, you know, I, just, I have not. Um, I'm sure it's not all that dissimilar from, from, from Tiger um, and, and, and getting us the type of things to happen. So. Mm -hmm. OS X, I, I defend. OS X, definitely, I defend. Uh, I, 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 I even want to defend Mountain Lion, but I just don't want to call Mountain Lion innovative. I don't want to... I, I have to go and see all the... I'm downloading it 
know, and I haven't even looked at the developer notes. I'm sure they added some other things in there that no, you know, the bubblegum crowd doesn't even know or give a shit about. Um, but um, it's funny, the bubblegum crowd never gets a shit until they finally learn something. They go, oh, I wish you would do that. Well, you're the dumbass. <laughs> you're the dumbass who said it shouldn't do that. <laughs> you, you were the one that was defending all that crap until you finally learned how to do it. Now you want to now it's too late. Yeah, it's yeah. Too late. You, you you defended the removal of it. It used to do that. Then you bubblegummed it. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know that's what bubblegumming was doing. Oh, I'm sorry. 